I've been testing both Obsidian and LogSeq for weeks, and honestly, the choice isn't as obvious as you'd think. Both promise to revolutionize knowledge management, but they're targeting completely different brain types. Obsidian is like getting handed Ferrari keys, but needing to learn stick shift first. It's incredibly powerful, the graph view is genuinely stunning, and the plugin ecosystem is massive. Thousands of community plugins can transform it into almost anything you want. But here's what nobody tells you. Obsidian feels pretty bare bones initially. You'll spend your first week tweaking settings, installing plugins, basically building your perfect setup. Some people love this flexibility, others find it overwhelming. Pricing is interesting. Obsidian is free for personal use, but Sync costs $8 monthly. Pretty reasonable for their robust Sync service, but it adds up. LogSeq takes a completely different approach. It's the structured, organized cousin with their life together, built around outline-first philosophy where everything is a block that can link automatically, like having conversations with your notes rather than just dumping information. What surprised me most is how intuitive LogSeq's daily notes feel. You start writing, and it naturally creates connections based on what you reference. No manual linking required. Here's the kicker. LogSeq is completely free and open source. No sync fees, no premium tiers. Your notes stay on your device unless you choose Cloud Sync yourself. Trade-off? LogSeq doesn't have Obsidian's massive plug-in ecosystem. You get what you get, and while solid, it's not endlessly customizable. Who should choose what? Love tinkering? Want maximum flexibility? Don't mind paying for sync? Obsidian's your tool. Want something that works brilliantly out of the box with zero ongoing costs? LogSeq is calling. Both are excellent. It comes down to whether you prefer building your perfect system or using one that's already pretty perfect. If this helped you out, hit like and subscribe. I break down the most talked about tools side by side every week across finance, marketing, software, design, basically any niche you care about. Check out the latest comparison here or dive into the playlist if you're still deciding. But I'm curious, which one would you pick? Got a favorite? Drop it in the comments. I'm always curious what real users think.